as Fortinet, uh, we are pioneer in as next generation's network security solutions, and we really cover the broad spectrum of the enterprise, from endpoints to the network to the applications. Uh, so we try to cover the full spectrum of, uh, of, of security. And with the multiple vectors of, of attacks and threats that are out there, you really need to look at a multi-layer security solution approach. Uh, it, is, it is not uh, recommended to go and really buy independent, uh, separated solutions addressing different threats and then you will have all these components not talking to each other, not correlating events together and giving you the right reports so that you can make the right decision at the right time. No, you have to go to a multi-layer comprehensive solution where from a single console you can have centralized management giving you the bigger picture, what's going on, correlating events with each other, correlating activities on your network with activities on your database, with activities on your web applications, etc. So that you can really correlate all, the, all these events together. Because as we mentioned, threats and attacks are becoming multi-vector, okay? So you need to look at a broader spectrum of your enterprise, correlate things together so that you can make the right decision at the right time. So that's, uh, that's, that's how Fortinet addresses uh, these emerging threats. Uh, a recent uh, introduction to, to our uh, 40 iOS 5 version 5, which we released uh, earlier the, at the beginning of this year, are two features which are uh, 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 customer reputation okay, and sandboxing. Okay. So right now, uh, customer reputation really looks at the behaviors of IT assets and IT resources on your network, uh, analyzes the behavior of these resources and decides whether and do a scoring for that. So either you score positively and you, are, and you don't really comprise any threat or you score negatively and there is a threat uh, arising from that. So for example, a user that, that works within, for example, uh, the UK, okay, and suddenly starts sending traffic to an IP address in, uh, in Russia, for example, or receiving traffic from Russia, uh, raises an alarm that something is really uh, happening. Mysterious. Yeah, absolutely. And you start scoring these activities. So the more it con uh, continues, the higher the, the, sc the threat score is there, and you, you keep an, a close eye on uh, from that perspective. Uh, as I told you, another feature we have with the 40 iOS is sandboxing. So today, if a piece of software is really suspicious, there is uh, a likelihood that it, it, it constitutes threat. There is a doubt that it is a malware you isolate it and you put it in a sandbox without that malware realizing that it has been put into that sandbox area, which can be either on the same machine or in a virtual environment. Okay. So you put that piece of malware into that area of sandboxing and you give it limited and restricted access to the network resources, etc. And you start looking at the behavior of that malware. So if it proves to be malicious, okay, it, it starts with being suspicious and it proves to be malicious, okay, then you quarantine, you quarantine it or, and, and, do, and do the needful. If it's not, then you release it. So these are new features that, uh, that are coming up with the Fortinet iOS version 5. Another feature that uh, we released recently with the iOS version 5 is uh, the, uh, the wireless controller that comes with, the, with our 40 gates. So right now each 40 gate can act as a secured wireless controller to access points that we can deploy around the, around the enterprise network. Uh, so, as we mentioned, with the adoption of BYOD across the various businesses, you need to make sure that a user who comes into your network, whether he's a user or a guest, is given certain rights and privilege, privileges based on his, on his uh, category. Uh, all this is being uh, enforced 
through the forty gate as security policies to the access points around the enterprise so that each user can really work by the according to the security policies that govern his usage for, 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 for the network and resources. Uh, another platform of defense that, that we provide is, uh, is our 40 webs, which is the web application firewall. So today we have uh, many applications written by, uh, for example, XML language or uh, Apache uh, development tools or uh, uh, Ruby on Rails uh, development tool for, uh, for, 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 for web servers and web applications uh, out there uh, have certain vulnerabilities uh, associated. So having uh, a web application firewall that can cater for these vulnerabilities is really, is really important. So we provide that element of protections through our, our 40 web. Then uh, another platform that we have uh, on display at the JITEX is the 40 DDoS. Uh, so today with the, with the widespread uh, attacks and uh, denial of, of distributed denial of service attacks out there, uh, a robust and really efficient uh, anti-DDoS platform is required. So our 40 DDoS help our customers protect and block such kind of attacks. Fortinet works through a three-tier uh, business model, and globally and also in the Middle East over here. So we have our distribution partners, who are the first uh, uh, level of, of, in, uh, of, of interface to, to the channel network. Uh, so these are value-added distributors who have uh, uh, resources, trend resources uh, on board, who have uh, stocking facilities around the region and who provide RMA also uh, depots for uh, fast uh, replacement, uh, turnaround for the replacement of defected units. So we have value added, we have three, four value added distributors in, in the region. Uh, we have Secureway here in, uh, in the UAE. We have uh, Oxygen Technologies in Saudi Arabia, and we have Mantrak uh, distribution, and we have online distribution in, in, in Pakistan. So this is our uh, our uh, first uh, line of, uh, of, of channel. Then we go to our value-added resellers. We have different levels of, of resellers partnerships. We start with the bronze, then the silver, then the gold. So uh, depending on uh, really the capabilities of that resellers in terms of uh, trained resources, certified resources. So each level of uh, Partnership requires a certain number of uh, trained, certified trained resources on board. Then we look at the revenues associated with uh, with that uh, with that partner uh, and the involvement in the sales cycle. So the higher the category, the, the the level of the partnership, okay, the more involved in the sales cycle he will be. So if if a partner has enough resources on board enough demo units on board so it's uh, normal that they will get more involved and adding, uh, adding value more into the sales cycle. Another category of uh, partnerships we have in the region is are, are the managed security service providers. So today for the traditional internet service provider business doesn't really carry a lot of uh, financial margins and benefits for these service providers. So those companies are really looking for that piece of value added service where they where they can you know, differentiate each other. So we have uh, you know a very nice portfolio for such kind of businesses, whether it is a CPE based small CPE based equipments or uh, cloud based. So our MSSP partners can either provide security as a service either through a CPE based model or a cloud based model or a hybrid or a hybrid model where you can combine both CPE and cloud-based to, to the end users. So these are really the different uh, categories of partners that we have on the ground. Also, another important uh, technology enablement for 
customers and partners alike are the authorized training centers that we have in the region. So we have training centers in Dubai, we have in Riyadh, in Amman and in Cairo. Yeah. So we have authorized training centers in these cities where certified Fortinet trainers go there and train uh, our partners and customers alike. Also we are offering for those, because we don't cover all the countries, we started last year offering online uh, classrooms where a partner or a customer can take a training course at, at his ease and convenience, whether at the office or, or, or at home. So these are really the different components of our uh, go-to-market approach in terms of channel over here in the region. We are continuously adding partners, identifying new partners that can really help us uh, cover whether a geographical area or an industry in a particular country or across the region. So in 2012, we increased our channel network by almost 30% compared to 2011. Uh, last year, we have added uh, our fourth distributor, which is Oxygen Technologies, uh, covering uh, Saudi, Iraq, and Pakistan. So we are always trying to broaden our reach to the market and uh, help our customers as much as possible. Uh, Fortinet is growing year on year. When I started with the company in 2007, we were uh, two people. Right now we are more than 25 people uh, across the region. Uh, we have invested and opened offices in uh, Saudi. We have uh, local presence in Kuwait and Pakistan. So we are investing as our business grows. According to IDC, we uh, have 30% of the UTM market share in, in the Middle East. Uh, 2012 compared to 2011, we achieved almost 60% uh, growth. Uh, this year, our target is to either match that, uh, that number or, uh, or surpass it. And uh, from, uh, uh, I cannot talk about uh, the Q3 figures yet because we did still, uh, we did not publicly announce it. But I can tell you for sure we are we are heading into into that direction, and in line with that, we are hiring more resources in Saudi, in Qatar, in UAE to match this growth that we are uh, moving into.